What's up guys, welcome to Apex, thanks for tuning in. The One UI 8 is yet to arrive on many of the Galaxy phones. However, we already have One UI 8.5's firmware leaked on the internet and some of the users have already posted some details about this on X. In today's video, we will deep dive into One UI 8.5, but before we do that, we are offering a one month free subscription promo code for the Volvo's wallpaper application. If you are interested in this promo code, drop a comment for this video, hit the like button, subscribe to the channel dm me on x or you can email me asking for the codes we have got limited 50 codes and it will be shared on first come first served basis using this code you will be able to enjoy the application ad free and you'll also get an access to all the premium wallpapers download as many wallpapers as you want and while you do that if you like the wallpaper application please do rate it on play store a five star would be much appreciated now without wasting any time let's dive right into the video one of the x users have shared many screenshots here as you can see the quick share has been completely revamped again samsung did make some changes on one ui 8 for quick share and now we have got another version of quick share which is completely revamped on one ui 8.5 you can see the receive and send tabs the buttons at the bottom are smaller now look similar to the pixel phones and we have got this gradient color also at the center here along with the receiving progress bar right about that on the top you can see from which phone you are receiving the files the next screenshot shows the direct voicemail feature when you are unable to answer this feature allows the caller to leave a voicemail message by swiping up to open more options on incoming call screen and select the direct voicemail you can still answer while the caller is recording this message you can check and listen to voicemails in the phone application it also says you can also set it to automatically go to voicemail after ringing for a certain amount of time now this feature is already provided by some of the cellular networks here in india and in most other countries as well but this is a cool feature to have on the galaxy phones and this may be region specific it may not be available in all the countries you can see the toggle at the bottom sent to voicemail after 20 seconds there will be multiple options available here next we have got the my files application here as you can see again the category tabs have changed on the top you can see images videos audio docs installation are all in rounded icons whereas on one by eight samsung changed it to a flat bar placing it one below the other now the new one on 8.5 does save some space then you can see the recent file downloads and internal storage with that thick bar which looks pretty cool it has got some gradient effect as well and then you have got utility utilities manage storage trash external storage options etc and you can notice that search bar at the bottom with a voice button which looks pretty cool now having a search bar at the bottom is always more convenient now on the current version of the my files application on one ui 8 we have got the search bar right there on the top right corner but on 8.5 we are going to get it at the bottom which is a welcome change and the next screenshot shows when you select an image inside the gallery you get this capsule at the bottom again you can see the sharing option we have delete option and then we have got create option and we also have the ellipsis button for the menu so again the design language as you can see it's capsule design at the bottom and here you can see this is the manage storage option on my files application where again you've got that gradient effect in the background this looks like half baked it looks like it is still in the initial designing phase and we may see some changes definitely here and all these designs that we are seeing are initial designs and this is the first build probably and there will be definitely some more changes happening here and you can see device care here again we have got that color effect in the background and we have got these bars which are quite wide and thin this is pretty different from the current version that we have and the big change here you can see under galaxy ai we have got additional options here the call assist writing assist interpreter and then we have got the meeting assist which is a new one it says get real-time translation of meeting conversations and presentation screen that's a new option that we have under galaxy ai then we had note assist transcript assist browsing assist and then we have got something called touch assist improve your reading efficiency by processing the text shown on the screen that is something new here then we've got smart clipboard get intelligent recommendations for useful functions such as correct summarize translate add to favorite search and open when you copy content that's a smart clipboard option we have got samsung seems to have incorporated ai also into clipboard which is nice then we've got social composer in social media applications generate posts based on images you upload in shopping applications generate reviews based on your purchases now this is going to be a very very useful feature almost everyone uses social media applications and shopping applications so we are very curious to see how this feature is going to work i'm pretty sure this is going to be amazing 
and then we have photo assist, drawing assist, audio eraser, photo ambient wallpaper, now brief and health assist. So the new features that we see here under Galaxy AI are the meeting assist, touch assist, smart clipboard and social composer. So as far as the AI features are concerned, definitely there are some cool features being added here. Then we have got this new dialer app. Again, you can see at the bottom, we have got the capsule design and here on modes and routines, you can see again, we have got the same design language at the bottom. We have got this capsule design and you can see on this particular screen recordings shared by another X user when you tap on AI button while editing an image you get this brand new effect with these options at the bottom we've got generative edit when you tap on generative edit it suggests some erasers here as you can see and we've got this option add more and restyle so we are getting a revamped generative edit features here on one UI 8.5 and on the camera settings also we are going to get some additional features some features have been moved from camera assistant to the uh, main camera settings which we will discuss in detail as soon as we get the one UI 8.5 and again, you can see this screenshot here. This is the all new quick share. When you tap on send, you will get to see this where you can choose the files. It says choose what to share and you can tap on select files to select. But this is the new graphics that we have got on this page now on one UI 8.5. You can see this finder where you will be suggested with some options on the top. You can see you might be looking for who did I talk to over the weekend? When did I last call mom? Who was I supposed to call back? So there is an AI integration right here on the finder as well, which is very nice to see. And after this AI suggested searches, we get to see the recent searches and probably then the applications will show up. So we do have some deep AI integration on each and every application on so the Galaxy phone. The next screenshot shows this brand new contact creation card where you can see the card size has been reduced and uh, they are properly aligned on the top. And then we have got the additional information page and then comes the calling menu. You can see there is a brand new layout here. We've got squircle shaped buttons here for adding call, mute, Bluetooth, speaker, keyboard, and more options. So the more options, we are not sure what we are gonna get. Let's wait and see that. And we have got this call assist button as well on the top. And while editing the image, you can see there is a brand new feature called fix up, which is currently not available on One UI 8.0. And you can also see when you swipe up on the image, uh, we've got an additional suggestion here for removing Moir which is nice to see. And you can see on this screen recording shared by this X user, we've got some additional customization for the clocks. On One UI 7 and One UI 8, uh, we could not increase the thickness of the font for all the clocks, but now we will be able to choose any font that we want and make it look more thinner or bolder using this slider. Now, there is another interesting information which was posted by Android Authority. They say that the code within leaked One UI 8.5 build suggests Samsung is developing a new private display or privacy display feature. This feature will limit screen visibility from side angles, protecting privacy in crowded public places. It's likely to debut on the Galaxy S26 Ultra, which is rumored to have the necessary screen hardware. Now, this feature may be exclusive to the Galaxy X26 series, specifically the S26 Ultra, but will be available on the 8.5 and may not come to the predecessor. Next, on the settings menu, you can see the search button is right there at the bottom. And it's good to see search bar being available at the bottom on most of the areas on the One UI 8.5. It's definitely a welcome change here. Next, we are also going to get a brand new studio application. If you are editing videos on your Galaxy phones using studio application, you will be glad to see that there is some UI improvement here as well. We got this new style navigation bar right here at the bottom, similar to the other design language that has been followed on the One UI 8.5. So these are some interesting features and changes that we are seeing on the One UI 8.5. And this is still the initial build. We are going to see some more builds and some more changes in the UI and some more new features which will get added in the coming days. I will keep you guys posted about all the changes that is going to happen on One UI 8.5. So stay tuned for my future videos. Be sure to subscribe and hit the like button if you find this video informative. And do not forget to DM me for the promo codes for Volvo's application. It's one month free subscription that you're going to get. If you use that promo code, you will get an access to all the wallpapers available ad free for a month. Use it if you like it do rate the application five star on the play store thanks a lot for watching you guys take care and stay safe i'll see you in the next one soon cheers bye bye